Apple Fitness Plus Cycling versus Peloton Digital App. Today we're going to take a look at the similarities and differences between the new Apple Fitness Plus Cycling specific portion of the app and the Peloton Digital App Cycling. The first difference is the price. Apple Fitness Plus is currently $9.99 a month and the Peloton Digital App is currently $12.99 a month which may change over time due to competition. One thing both of these platforms has in common is you can bring your own bike to the equation and throw your own tablet up there or in Apple's case, use an Apple TV. In this particular video, we'll be using the Schwinn IC4 as an example because it's a really great bike for either platform. However, if you are looking for a bike to use with either of these platforms, there are a lot of different bikes you can choose from, and if you want help with that, I have more videos on that. If you haven't already heard, the Apple Watch is basically the heart and the center of the system for the Apple Fitness Plus app. So if you don't already have an iPhone and an Apple Watch and an iPad or an Apple TV, this basically immediately eliminates you from using Apple Fitness Plus. On the other hand, with the Peloton Digital app, you do not need any particular hardware. You can open the Peloton Digital app on any tablet, or pretty much any screen. Additionally, the Peloton Digital app will display your heart rate up on the screen here um, using your own heart rate monitor. In my case, I have the Skosh Rhythm Plus and it displays neatly right up here on the Peloton Digital app here on my iPad. And it also works for an Android tablet as well. And on top of that, on the Schwinn IC4, not only can you connect up and cast your heart rate, you can also connect up the bike itself to connect up your cadence onto the screen. So after I connect up the Schwinn IC4 to the tablet here on the Peloton Digital app, it'll display my cadence right up there on the screen. And if you wanna learn more about the Schwinn IC4 and all of its pros and cons, I have a separate video where I'll put a link to that up here. So while both of these platforms do provide you with an instructor and good music, popular music, you know, like stuff you might hear on the radio. For example, here's the playlist for this particular ride. But Apple Fitness Plus has a lot of different genres of music and you can also filter by length of class, which I really like, and you can also filter by trainer as well. Obviously, Apple Fitness Plus just started and there's a lot of room for improvement, but we're gonna talk about what it's like right now in its current state. As an example, I filtered by 10 minute workouts and hip hop R&B, and this is what we get. Before we start the class, we can take a look and see what the playlist is like for this 10 minute class, starting with a 50 cent song. Let's go. So right away here, I feel a vibration on the Apple Watch here. It tells me what class I'm about to start and I press play. Now it did take me a little bit to get this all synced up. Um, I had to do quite a bit of software updates and there's a little countdown on the watch and we get a little intro here and you can see your uh, beats per minute is displayed here on your Apple Watch as well as time, active calories, total calories. And on the Apple Fitness Plus Cycling app, you get a timer as well as your heart rate displayed and calories burned. Up here in the top right corner, you get your rings displayed. And as you can see there, I just closed a ring and reached a uh, fitness goal there and it shows me or actually this is not my watch, I'm borrowing Sabrina. So give her a thumbs up if you appreciate her letting me borrow all of her Apple gear because without that, I could not make this video. So let's take a moment to talk about the Apple Fitness Plus classes themselves. They are not Peloton classes. They have a different style and they're different. So on here, you can see you do not get any sort of cadence output and they don't tell you exact numbers for cadence all the time. Rather, they give you recommendations on roughly what cadence you should go along with. They don't give you a resistance measurement in terms of a number. However, that can be a really good thing for people who don't have an actual Peloton bike. I'll tell you more about that in just a moment, but let's look at this burn bar here. Now this is really interesting because I'm not even pedaling the bike right now and it shows me kind of more at the top end of this burn bar. And the burn bar on the Apple Fitness Plus cycling app is basically just a simple leaderboard that shows you r roughly how you're doing in the class in comparison to other people who've taken the class. So apparently there must be a lot of people who have taken this class just playing it and not actually going along with it because I don't know how else I'd be kind of uh, at the upper end there considering I'm not even pedaling this bike. So let's compare how the resistance is called out on Apple Fitness Plus compared to the Peloton Digital app. So on the Peloton Digital app, for example, the instructors will tell you a very clear and precise resistance number that you should be going along with. Now that works really well if you're on a Peloton bike, but for people who are using the Peloton Digital app, 
it doesn't really work so well because there's all these conversion charts out there. You know, for example, the Schwinn IC4 goes from resistance zero to 100. However, when you have this bike, the Schwinn on resistance level 100, that really only equates to about a resistance 60 on the Peloton bike. And every bike's different, so the numbers are all irrelevant, they don't really make a lot of sense, and what you end up doing is getting, getting these conversion charts to try to convert, and honestly, from what I've seen, they all vary a lot, all the bikes are kind of calibrated differently, and they really don't make a lot of sense. So if you're not on an actual Peloton bike, the resistance doesn't really necessarily make sense in terms of a number. So it really makes a lot of sense for the Apple Fitness Plus program to just kind of call out, you know, hey, we're going up a hill now, hey, we're riding on a flat, ground. Hey, we got stopped at a traffic light. So they kind of, from what I saw on the rides I've done, they kind of give you like a storytelling mode. The instructors are coaching you and they'll give you like little bursts where, you know, they'll give you like, hey, 30 seconds, we're going to sprint now. We're going to go hard just for a little bit. And then, you know, they'll say, we're at a flat road now. Then the instructor will say, okay, we hit a, a light in traffic. We're going to take it easy, chill out for a minute. And really that's, you know, you kind of just have this general guidance here in Apple Fitness Plus at the current state. So even though the Apple Fitness Plus app doesn't display your cadence up on the screen currently, the Shuin IC4 does have a little uh, bar here that shows you your cadence where you're at on, you know, zero to 125. So you can get those metrics on this bike. But if you don't have the Schwinn IC4, you can always use a Wahoo cadence sensor or some other sort of cadence sensor. And it'll be interesting to see if Apple Fitness Plus comes out with their own cadence sensor in the future or some other way to integrate that cadence up here on the screen in some way, because there's really no reason why they can't. However, if you don't have like the Schwinn IC4 and you do want cadence, you know, you have a different bike, there's ways you can do that. So really my take on Apple Fitness Plus is it seems to be like a really simple way to get into exercise and cycling. You know, if you're not like really, really into Peloton digital app or really into Peloton or into cycling and you just want to add cycling into your uh, workout regimen, you know, maybe you lift weights regularly or you have uh, some other form of regular exercise and you just want a trainer or something that's convenient to kind of coach you through a general guidance, you know, giving you general resistance levels, general cadence. And, you know, I, I found it really helpful. You know, it's a lot better than just sitting here on your bike without anything to watch whatsoever. So, you know, if you already have Apple and you already have an Apple watch, you know, the phone, the iPad, this is really a great, convenient, easy way to kind of get into indoor cycling. In its current state, Apple Fitness Plus doesn't give you the exact same experience as a Peloton digital app, and you know, it shouldn't. It's a little bit different. They have the burn bar, which gives you kind of a different anonymous way of seeing where you are on the leaderboard, and it shows you your calories burned, and it gives you the rings up there in the top right corner, and it kind of flashes that display up there that I showed you when you complete your metrics. And here in the class, you can see there's a little countdown going on. So this is like, you know, I'm not doing the ride right now because I want to hold the camera steady for you. But, you know, he's like coaching you through. You can see and encouraging you, you know, just give me 45 seconds. Give me a minute to push through. So, you know, it, I found it really helpful last night when I was doing a 10 minute ride. Uh, it's really pretty nice. Popping back over here to the Peloton digital app, you can see the look and feel of the whole thing's a, a little bit different. My heart rate's still up on there from the Skosh Rhythm Plus I have on. Uh, the bike, the cadence went away. I could pop that back on there. So I just hooked the cadence right back up. It's on there now. Uh, so one thing about the Peloton digital app, if you don't know the difference between, you know, this $12.99 a month deal versus the $39 per month full Peloton bike. I do have a separate video on that, but one of the major differences is the leaderboard. You don't really get to participate in this leaderboard on the Peloton digital app, whereas on the all access, you do get to participate. Another thing I should mention about the Peloton digital app is you can't hook up your Apple watch to the Peloton digital app. So you have to go with like some other third party ones that are actually compatible, like the Skosh is compatible. I know that there's more than one that's compatible. Just 
the Scotch Rhythm Plus is a really popular option to pair up with the Peloton digital app. So honestly, I mean, both of these platforms at roughly the same price, you know, even though one is like percentage wise, the, the Peloton digital app percentage wise is quite a bit more uh, money in comparison to the Apple Fitness Plus at $12.99 versus $9.99. Uh, honestly, you know, they both give you a pretty good bang for the buck. I mean, you're talking like 10, 13 bucks a month. And if you're already in on all the Apple products, you know, you got the Apple phone, the iPhone, you got the Apple watch, you got the iPad, you got the Apple TV, you know, it's only a few extra bucks a month. And if you get the, the watch, there is like a free deal kind of going on where you get a few months of fitness plus for free. Overall, they both seem like really good options. You know, they both give you that coach. They give you that encouragement to help you achieve your fitness goals. You know, Apple, the way that Apple is doing it right now, it's a little less precise in terms of metrics. You know, if, if you're really into seeing the metrics, seeing the resistance, seeing the cadence and all that stuff, Peloton digital app is probably the way to go right now. However, it'll be interesting to see how does Apple Fitness Plus cycling improve over time. I guarantee you this is not gonna be their final end product. They're probably gonna be coming out with some enhancements to this and you know it's gonna get better probably. If you, if you looked at Peloton in their beginning days, I'm sure you know it's not what it was then, how it is now. So this 10 minute class with Greg just finished up and you can take a look at the metrics that it shows you here, like your average heart rate, total calories, your active calories, uh, the burn bar results. So it gives you like the calories there and like kind of how you did in comparison to other people. So apparently I burned like 55 calories here just talking to the camera. I mean, this camera actually is pretty heavy. So, you know, kind of doing an isolated curl here, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can kind of see the results there and you can do a mindful cool down or just click done. And you know, it's a very seamless and uh, pretty beautiful display really. I do like the how the interface is set up here and how it shows you like the playlist and stuff on the Apple Fitness Plus cycling app. So really the main purpose of this video is to compare the cycling portion of these two apps, but they both do have many other things within. So on the Apple Fitness Plus here, you can see there's yoga, HIIT training, core, strength, treadmill, cycling, rowing, dance. Uh, and mindful cool down and I'm sure that they will be expanding. They said that they're adding new classes and stuff I think it's every week right now and this is like their first week. They're just hitting things off right now I'm sure it's only better to come and I have to admit I do kind of like the colorful backgrounds They have kind of going on in some of their studio rides as far as like outdoor instructor led cycling classes I don't think Apple Fitness Plus really has that Peloton digital app kind of isn't they don't really have that either You'd have to go for like iFit for something like that just to show you what it looks like here when you finish up on the Peloton digital app, I'll just end this ride early here. And it gives you like a lot more metrics and stuff here at the end of your ride. So you can kind of see, obviously my performance isn't so stellar here as I just uh, recorded basically, but it'll kind of show you your cadence over time, as well as your heart rate tracked over time and uh, your zones for your heart rate. So it's kind of like a lot more like, analytical and gives you a lot more details about your workout so i mean if you really want to you know break down the metrics of your ride peloton digital app is probably going to be the way to go but you know they both have um upbeat instructors they really kind of coach you through it's just kind of a different style in each one or it's kind of more um you know less formal in the uh, apple fitness plus app and in the Peloton digital app, they're gonna be a little bit more specific about that exact resistance number range you, you should be in, as well as that cadence range. So right now it kind of seems like people who are loving fans of Peloton and Peloton digital app, they're probably not gonna be persuaded to go over to the uh, Apple Fitness Plus right now. However, for people who are in that Apple ecosystem with the iPhone and the Apple Watch already and all the Apple stuff, this is, you know, and, and maybe you're not really into cycling right now. You know, you're looking to get your first cycling bike. Uh, this is a, a pretty good way to get your foot in the door to indoor cycling. So anyway, if you want to see other indoor cycling videos, uh, budget bikes compared, I have a lot of that stuff on my channel. If this video has been helpful to you, give me a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, leave down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next video. What do you think of the new Apple Fitness Plus? There's a reason I'm riding my Peloton.